This next song has been chosen by yet another Facebook friend and when she chose it, I didn't quite know how to react honestly because this is a song that does my head in only because I have a very poor memory. And this song has everything to do with memory. So I'm not sure how I'm going to cope with this singing, but I'm sure you'll help me get through this one. The earliest known version of this song was published in London under the title The Twelve Days of Christmas Sung at King Pepin's Ball as part of a 1780s children's book, Mirth Without Mischief. Of course, there were many versions that followed, but it would be Frederick Austin's 1909 version, which of course was the most popular version and a version that we still sing, or at least variations of it. Now, when I was looking up the history of the song, it was actually quite interesting because this is essentially a cumulative song, which means that you have to keep adding on verses. And as you add on the verses, you have to keep repeating what you sang in the first verse and the second verse and the third verse. As I said, it's basically a test of your memory. And that is the essential origins of the song. It was a game for children. And the children had to test their memory by remembering all the verses and it was also a forfeit game, which means if you forgot a verse, you had to pay the forfeit. So that could be singing a song, doing a jig, dancing a jig, or uh, planting a kiss on somebody's cheek. You had to pay the price of a failing memory. Now, the 12 days in the song are the 12 days starting with Christmas Day or in some traditions from the 26th of December, which was Boxing Day or St. Stephen's Day, and the 12 days carry on right up to the day before the Epiphany. Now, the Feast of the Epiphany was when the Magi came to visit the baby Jesus and presented their gifts according to tradition. Twelfth Night, and I'm sure we've all studied Twelfth Night, or most of us have studied Twelfth Night or read it seen it being performed or watched it on television, whatever it is, I'm sure we enjoyed the antics in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. And basically that's what the whole thing was. You had 12 days of fun and merriment. Let's see what the Oxford English Dictionary defines the Twelfth Night as. And this is exactly what it says. It's the evening of the 5th of January, preceding Twelfth Day, the eve of the Epiphany, formerly the last day of the Christmas festivities and observed as a time of merrymaking. In fact, it is a superstition that all decorations should come down by the 6th of January. I took a lot of trouble putting up my decorations. I have friends and family visiting after the 10th, so I don't think I'm going to give in to any silly superstition, but that's what it was. Well, coming back to the song, as I said, participants had to keep repeating the verses and if they did not remember, they had to pay the penalty. Luckily for you, you have control over your device. So if you get bored, you can click the fast forward button or the stop button, but I will have to sing all the 12 verses. And I do hope you will sing along because apart from the fact that if the person was to actually gift all these gifts, that person would be bankrupt. It also stands to reason that by the end of the song, we are going to be quite tired of singing the same thing over and over again, but we will do it nonetheless. So please join me as we sing the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Calling doves 
gloves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Day of Christmas, my true love sent to me eleven pipers pepping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swarms a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of to me, twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, please, no more. I don't think I could remember any of that. Thankfully, I've got the words to help me, but I do hope you tested your memory and you sang along with me. Take care now.